Well, I think uh, in the interest of not subverting the process going on to secure the release of the next 83, uh, I think that issue should be, that question should be deferred. But I am of the firm belief that the government is on the right course and the negotiator, which I introduced, and also the Swiss government, which is fully working on this, are on the right path to securing the next set of Chibok girls. But I cannot say uh, that the ransom were paid, but I can tell you that it is better we keep this question so as to not to undermine the process, which is still very fragile, uh, and also to support those who are still heavily involved in this to succeed. And I must create this impression. I am not in the current negotiation, and I choose deliberately not to be, but I drafted the formula, and I brought in the Swiss, I brought the ICRC, and also brought the negotiator. And I set the face for the success of, of this. But I believe that as much as the talk is going on, uh, we should simply continue to pray and support those who are uh, fully involved in this. What, what about if there was any swap of five Boko Haram commanders in detention? Well, I read a lot of news about swap, but I can assure you that there was no swap. The government, as said by the Minister of Information, there was no swap at all. But there were other forms of agreement, and naturally, when you have a hostage situation like this, there must be a give-and-take situation.